In this video, I'm going to break down how I meal plan each week. Before I meal plan, I grab a piece of paper, something to write with, and access to the internet. Here's how I start. I take a sheet of paper and I write the numbers one through seven. The first thing is to figure out the protein that you want for each meal. There are lots of them. Here are just a few. Ground beef, beef roast, ground sausage, sausage patties, ground turkey, whole turkey, ground chicken, chicken pieces with the bone or the skin, chicken pieces without the bone and the skin, whole chicken, fresh fish, canned fish, other seafood like shrimp or mussels or lobster, some sort of pork like the loin or the tenderloin or the shoulder, pork chops or eggs or bacon, or you could make it a vegetarian meal. After I pick out a protein for each day of the week, I decide how I think that protein should be cooked. For preparations, you can do sauteed or grilled, boiled or baked, roasted, you can use a slow cooker, you could make nuggets or patties, a soup, a stir fry, or you can fry. Next, I pick the green vegetable. There are lots of green vegetables that you can choose from. Here are just a few. Green beans, bok choy, collard greens, chard, lettuce, broccoli, zucchini, Brussels sprouts, green bell peppers, Indian bitter melon, artichoke, asparagus, celery, endive, kale, spinach, okra, snow peas, leeks. I usually like to pick two vegetables for every protein. So I have a green vegetable and then I have another vegetable. For the other vegetable, there are plenty of options as well. Acorn squash, butternut squash, turnip, cauliflower, carrot, potato, sweet potato, corn on the cob, red or yellow bell pepper, eggplant, yellow squash, radish, beet, onion, garlic, daikon, jicama. Most of the time I also include a starch of some sort with the meal. So again, there are plenty of starch options that you can choose from. Rice, bread, that could be French bread or just a loaf of bread. Pasta, potatoes, barley, buckwheat, oats, chickpeas, lentils, tortillas. Once I've picked out those things for each day of the week, I figure out how I'm gonna put them all together. Now, sometimes you can just do a Google search, but a lot of times you can just come up with something random on your own. Let's say I'm working on day one. I'm going to go back, pick at least one protein, at least one green vegetable, at least one other vegetable, and most likely a starch. And it sometimes helps to pick out a flavor influence. So let's go with Japanese. Now you could do a Google search for sauteed chicken Japanese and you would find lots of recipes that are already out there. But I'm just gonna come up with something based off of the Japanese flavors that I'm familiar with. I know Japanese food has soy sauce and ginger sometimes, so I'm gonna use those two things for this recipe. For the first dinner of the week, I'm going to make sauteed chicken wings with soy sauce and ginger, roasted carrots, crispy kale chips, and a side of rice. For the rest of the week, you just do the same thing. I go back through, I pick a protein, some vegetables, and a starch, and then I come up with a recipe that will use those ingredients. Another tip is to keep a mental list or a physical list of some of your favorite meals. You simply go through your list of favorites and you pick out the six or seven that you wanna eat that week. Once you've come up with your meal plan for the week, you go through the recipes and you write down your shopping list. I like to organize my shopping list by meats, dairy and eggs, vegetables, fruits, things that are in cans and boxes, and then other. There's a recipe idea in the description of the video, and if you'd like more information, tips and recipes regarding baby lead weaning, check out my blog, blwideas.com. Thanks for watching.